fantastic sound, isn't it? So quintessentially British. There's nothing like a pam 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 of a brass band on a summer's afternoon. <laughs> yeah, who am I kidding? I can't even get a note out of it. But I'm in the right place to learn because this county is synonymous with cloth cap music. Any idea where I am? Stay tuned and you'll find out. On today's show, we're attempting to help a couple find both a new vocation and a new house. We've got some great rural propositions to tempt them with. You're saying all the right things, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you like? We've not been trained either. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be cooking up some really hot properties. Your catering empire would be founded here. It would here. build from yeah. here, this would from be that the very yeah. range. <laughs> Tell you what, that tuba weighs a ton. Today I'm in North Yorkshire and this uh, fine posse behind me are the Harrogate Brass Band. They're brilliant, aren't they? Unlike uh, other bands, they didn't emerge from the coal mining industry, but bands in North Yorkshire actually originated from the Victorian temperance movement, a movement that encouraged ordinary young folk to pick up musical instruments, like the ones behind me, instead of picking up pints. So. Uh, I'm rather glad that happened because as I say they're really, really fantastic. And what was obvious is that I can't blow my own trumpet, but today I'm in a county that really deserves to. North Yorkshire is England's largest rural county, covering a massive 3,000 square miles of some truly beautiful countryside. There are two national parks within its borders. The pastoral scenery of the Dales spread themselves across the west of the county with an intricate network of dry stone walls and the wilder North Yorkshire moors lie out towards the east, blanketed by the largest expanse of heather moorland in the country, which provided the eerie backdrop for Emily Bronte's only novel, Wuthering Heights. The area between the national parks is made up of gently rolling hills known as the Vale of York. This patchwork of rich agricultural land is dotted with villages and market towns, full of handsome sandstone and limestone houses, which make for some of the most sought-after properties in the north. Over the last 10 years, the Regional Development Agency has pumped an impressive £189 million into the local economy. North Yorkshire has benefited from a number of town centre and seaside regeneration schemes, bringing new investment into the region, all of which has had a positive effect on the property market. Here, for a detached house, you'll pay 7% above national average. With spectacular views over the breathtaking dales, this delightful two-bed detached cottage in Skipton is on the market for £225,000. Despite its old stone appearance, it's been recently converted and features a modern galley kitchen. Next up, this impressive Grade 2 listed barn conversion in Thorpe Willoughby has been divided into three stylish properties. It's the central terrace that's up for grabs. Laid out over three floors, it comes with three bedrooms a large sitting room and a rather slick kitchen diner. All this for £345,000. And lastly, how about a slice of this converted Victorian mansion? Priced just under half a million pounds, situated a few miles from Harrogate. The attached three-storey muse house has three bedrooms, two receptions and a large galley kitchen. So a great selection of property there in this beautiful county. But what will today's buyers be after? Let's find out, shall we? Kyle and Rebecca met a year ago when they were both working as teachers in Holland, and they've been inseparable ever since. Now they're back in England, they're renting a flat in central London and planning a future together, involving a complete change of lifestyle, starting with buying their very first property together. We see it as a relationship that's, that's got a future and, and, and it would be a nice place for us both to settle uh, in an area that we're both familiar with. And I think Yorkshire particularly, because Kyle used to live there, I'm from South Yorkshire, so we've still got family and friends there, contacts, people we know, so it'll be a bit more like going home rather than going to a totally new place. But it's not just a house they're looking for. Both Kyle and Becky want a new career. So what type of business are they planning? We've had certain ideas about businesses 
alongside the property. So we've looked at a, we've looked at varying things, haven't we? From mm. bed and breakfast cafes attached to a property. Um, the other thought consideration is to um, set up a sort of deli, stroke farm shop on mm. site on in, within the property. Or maybe have a house with a separate business and keep the two separate. Mm. They're certainly not short of ideas for the new enterprise. But what about the house itself? What we wouldn't consider buying is somewhere that's devoid of character. Um, so we're steering clear of modern houses. A, a finished project as well, a house that's just done and there's nothing really more to do to it. We'd like to avoid that. Yeah. yeah. I, I think a, a, quite obviously a large detached country house in its own plot uh, ideally between two and five acres but if you wanted to throw a little bit of extra land our way that would be fine um, five bedrooms yeah definitely uh, I've just spent the last year at a catering school in West London so I've just passed with my diploma from there but ideally uh, I'd like a much larger kitchen preferably even the size of this living area now uh, the style very much love the country style with with the range and an island unit where I can work and a lot more storage space because I'm running short at the moment. They've both sold properties to fund the move, so what final figure do we have to work with? Our budget for a house is £850,000. This is a huge move for Kyle and Becky. Uh, we're finding them their first together home. Not only that, but a brand new business. Also, what that business is going to be. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. It's a maverick approach, I like it. Offers us uh, plenty of room for manoeuvre. In terms of location though, they know exactly what they want, and that's to be close to Harrogate, no further north than Ripon. Thanks to their healthy budget, we've found some absolutely stunning country houses to tempt them with. But as ever, I'll be keeping my lips sealed as to the prices. And to top it off, there's the mystery package, where we'll be mixing business with pleasure. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome to Yorkshire. Hello. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's like coming home for you, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. So you've got family in this area? I'm from South Yorkshire originally in Doncaster. Um, so I do have family still in the area. Uh, uh, yeah, you're a bit of a chef by all accounts. So is the plan to come up to Yorkshire and uh, start a catering firm? I'd like to do something with catering. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Um, but I've obviously, with a background in education, it would be quite nice to do some teaching as well with uh, cooking, cookery teaching and um, do some catering functions as well. So, 850 is the budget? Yes. Yes. With perhaps room to go up to about 900 without a business, and then uh, with a property with a business, maybe to go over a million. And the pressure's on to find somewhere as well. Absolutely. We, um, my uh, lease on our flat runs out in about a month's time. Mm. So after that, we're homeless, so. <laughs> we don't want you to be homeless. No. We don't so either, we really. No, no, we need to find somewhere. <laughs> Honestly, we've got some fantastic properties to yeah. show you. Uh, okay. It's a great area to live in. OK. Um, and you've got a great budget, of course, as well. So. Uh, and of course, there's a mystery property as well. Ooh, Should we get going? Looking Lovely. forward to it. Come on, Thank let's you. go. <laughs> for a budget of £850,000, Kyle and Rebecca are looking for a large, detached family home. But they're willing to stretch to just over a million pounds if the plot has some business potential. As for the house, they're looking for some character. Five bedrooms, a large country kitchen, and a couple of acres of grounds. They're also hoping to put their own mark on the property so we'll definitely consider redecorating and minor alterations. But it's a big move, really, from where you are now, because, you know, you're banging the heart of London. Mm. Every sort of shop and restaurant right on your doorstep. I know, I know. It ain't going to be like that here. No. I think that's why we've said to be able to access a town, and also Harrogate, it's quite a cosmopolitan town. There seems to be quite a bit going on mm. um, in terms of nightlife, restaurants. Culture. Yes, mm. so I think to be able to access that, but also have the best of the countryside. And we have some prime countryside to offer up in our first property, which lies towards the Yorkshire Dales, 13 miles northwest of Harrogate, in the village of Wilsall. Located in an area of outstanding natural beauty, Wilsall is a quiet rural place, surrounded by countryside, with incredible views across the Dales. The house itself is Grade 2 listed and was originally three buildings, a farmhouse, cottage and barn, dating back to 1630. Let's take in the house. What do you think? It's lovely. I love the uh, traditional stone mm -hmm. style. It's got a bit of history as well. 
OK, really nice Alan to hear. Bennett, the playwright, was evacuated here during the war. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. he That's lived there. Interesting. Should yes. we get in? Yes. Let's have a look. OK, okay. Yeah. let's Thank go. Thank you. The original features on the exterior include attractive stone mullion windows, and the York stone details continue inside. Find your head. OK. Yeah. You might be OK, actually. I think I can just oh, get Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely bump on that. Oh, wow. This is your dining room. The first thing that, that hits you is, is yes. that fireplace. Oh, God. That is lovely, Amazing. isn't it? It's the original fireplace. You've also got the original panelling there, the wood panelling. Right. Mm. That's why the property is Grade 2 listed, it's that fireplace and that panelling. Yeah, mm. OK. Oh, and lovely little window as well, yeah. looking out onto that view. Mm. Okay. Gorgeous. Very you imagine this is your dining room? Absolutely. I mean, that's yeah. just, I love this fireplace. I can't take your eyes off it, can no, you? I'd have two high chairs there and yeah. arm chairs even. You could have nice little parties in here as well, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. Nice. You're saying all the right things, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you like? We've not been trained either. <laughs> Next to the dining room is the main sitting room, again with a huge fireplace, heavy stonework and another cosy window seat. Then beyond this room is the kitchen diner. Ooh, that's nice. Is, isn't it? Yeah, so they've just, this looks very new as well. They've well, it's the original flagstones. Right. Um, and uh, again, the original windows. Mm. Mm. I'm more granite fun. than I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Um, just through their uh, utility room as well. Mm. Right. The, uh, plumbing for everything you'd need. Okay. So um, it's very practical. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it's a real family. Is it too modern for you? It's something I'd have to think about a little bit just to get my head around it because I've always thought the more traditional style. OK. Um, I have to say it's finished off beautifully, though. It seems the main living areas downstairs are hitting the spot. So it's time to tour the upstairs where there are five bedrooms, including a single room, two double rooms, one of which is being used as a study. There's also the family bathroom and a master bedroom featuring beautiful unspoilt views and a spacious contemporary ensuite, which has a separate bath and shower. Now, Kyle and Becky said they'd ideally want somewhere they can put their own stamp on, and there's plenty of scope in the last room on this floor. You wanted a project? Wow. This is amazing. It's a big space, isn't it? Loads of original features again. Oh, absolutely. I love that window up there. That That's, is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the lower windows just give you that Opens out the view. absolutely wonderful view. There's planning permission in place to put a bathroom in here as well. Right. So this could be a, this a could very be. generous master bedroom, I, I would say. This is, bedroom. yeah. But the potential doesn't end here, as this property also comes with yet more planning permission for further residential accommodation and even business possibilities.